What's going on guys? Welcome back to another hunting boot camp. So today I am going over the best way to haul decoys in a kayak. I don't care if you're using a Sundolphin SS10 fishing kayak or a Sand H12. This is the absolute best way to haul decoys in a kayak. So let's get to it. The first way you can haul decoys in a kayak, and we've tried this before. You've seen some of my earlier kayak videos. I've got holes drilled in the back, but you can just strap them to you know any of these bungees or whatever you want to. Especially if your decoys are on a Texas rig like this. And then you're just gonna drag them. So that's gonna be a lot harder to row. Your weights are gonna get stuck in aquatic vegetation, the moss, whatever, cattails, whatever's growing in your area. You might be dragging in the mud. And even when you're in the open water and some deeper water, it's gonna put more drag on your kayak. It's gonna make it a lot harder to, you know, row. So that's not a very good way to haul decoys. The second method we tried is we would load them up. And so for this kayak, you know, obviously I'm kind of limited on space. I got my gun that goes up there. I got my gear bag, my cameras, shotgun shells, all that important stuff. It goes right here, it's bungee down. So the kayak tips, it ain't going anywhere. But where do I need to put my decoys? Well, you know, we just tried to stack them in here. You stack them up on your gear. I'd have some up here even. I'd put them on the front, over my gun, on my legs, and we'd just be loaded up with decoys. And that would work all right. You know, you could still row. You wouldn't have to worry about the drag. But if they shifted, you know, because there's going to be more stuff underneath this, so these decoys are going to be sitting up like this. So if you shift it, if you hit a wave, and they go like this, really good way to capsize your kayak and that's happened to me only once so after that I knew there had to be a better way and we got you know got to look at some other ways to do stuff so the absolute better way those are just the two other ways you can do this the absolute best way to haul decoys in a kayak is simply to use one of these this is just a decoy sled I think it's the medium sized one I didn't get the biggest there was but you can still see it's probably three and a half four foot long so it's got a plenty of space it's about a foot deep as well got a nice curve up here so if you got ice or if you're dragging it on dry land you can do that too but kayak hunting this is the absolute best way and what I like to do is I take my cord here I've got my decoys already clipped on so I'll just hook that in with the clip and if I have another set of decoys like so. So the lead on the sled's gonna be a little longer, but the decoys aren't gonna go anywhere. The sled's not gonna go any further than that decoys because of the Texas rigs I got them on. And then I can haul more decoys this way. So before I was limited, I couldn't haul all my goose decoys. You know, I've got four Canada floaters I like to take out. I've got coot decoys, divers. I've got my puddler pack and teal decoys. And then all my mallards. So I'd have to, you know, kind of cut space. With this, I can take everything. I just clip it here in the hole here once again. There we go. We'll put the lead through that. And it's that simple. So I just, you know, take the kayak. You make sure you get all your decoys in the sled first, but you get the point. You're gonna have very little resistance you're not going to have to worry about capsizing your kayak. Not even, you know, it doesn't matter what kayak you have. You're not going to worry about capsizing it. You can haul more gear. You can haul more stuff in here. I've got, this is, what is this? 30 decoys right here. And I still have room. I could haul probably another dozen if I needed to. But that is the absolute best way to haul decoys. Um, I finally got me a sled last year and it's a game changer. We're gonna be able to put out a lot more different spreads this year. We're gonna be able to maybe add a little bit more numbers if we need them. Um, and especially bring out the goose floaters because I really do like those as like confidence decoys. Even when geese aren't in season, I like using those goose decoys. But this is an absolute game changer. I would recommend getting a decoy sled for anyone who's kayak hunting because you can haul so much stuff. And it doesn't just have to be decoys. If you need a marsh stool, or maybe a couple mojos, lucky ducks, whatever. Um, whatever you need, I mean, and you don't have to go this big. There's smaller sizes, there's larger sizes, but definitely going with the jet sled, a 
decoy sled, it's going to help you out. You're gonna be able to haul more stuff. You're gonna be more stable in your kayak, which means you're gonna be a lot safer than if you were hauling all these or dragging them. You're gonna get there just as fast as if you were having them on your yak. So this is without a doubt the best way to haul decoys in a kayak. That's all I have for you guys today though. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Always helps me out. Drop a comment, let me know what your thoughts were. Guys, when you go out kayak hunting, do you use a sled? Do you drag? Do you stack? Let me know down below. So subscribe if you haven't already. So stay up to date with the latest hunting boot camps. These come out all off season every Monday. More hunting tips and tricks for you guys to hopefully get you on the birds, pheasants, deer, ducks, whatever. As well as more cooking videos. So once you shoot it, you can eat it and enjoy it and more hunting and fishing exploits we are less than three months away from teal season we are in the swing of fishing season hopefully i can finally get that pike maybe get on some trout who knows the sky's the limit just got to get out there and fish and we'll catch you out there guys see ya not even close